Youth Fusion was a performing arts group. Me and Johanna ended up doing a pilot um, in a program that they had during the summer holidays. And then we had a lot of interest in that, so we decided, okay, let's start a performing arts group. Our first class, we got about 28 youth. They were all very excited and interested to see what this program was. We were running it for 10 weeks uh, and piloting that program towards a show. I started realising, working with the youth out in Flaxmere, that they already had their own stories and their own ideas and their own skills and their own talents. So I ended up working the program towards the skills that they innately had. For it being based from Flaxmere was the first thing that's come out of Flaxmere that incorporated dance, drama and singing and also their own stories. A few people had heard about Youth Fusion and then they were like, oh, can you come here? And I was like, yeah, sure. As we started performing more and more, we started getting asked to do more and more things and then the projects got bigger. Blossom Parade, the libraries, the Albert Square, the Hastings Music Events Week. Then there was the platform for change that was pretty good. I was making the piece for the Hawke's Bay Arts Festival and I, I thought, what's the most diverse voice that's not at that festival? I thought about this one story I wanted to tell, and it was about um, the voices of Rangatahi. What's it like to be represented? That's when I thought back to Youth Fusion. We uh, created that piece and showed that at the Hawke's Bay Arts Festival. I was really proud of hearing all the voices and the representation of that, that every person in their own way has a very an innate, strong artistic voice. So we took that piece up to the um, Auckland Fringe Festival recently and it was interviews with the uh, Sikse What was so outstanding about it was um, it really helped inform the audience members about um, thinking and what and what happened yeah what what's happening in someone's life mm. and that for me is the power of theatre I think if it did get set up or did start again it would need funding to be able to pay for the right teachers to be able to get the right props to have the right equipment to be able to get have the right facilities I think the program could definitely run again because to know that there are lots of people in Hawke's Bay that are looking for opportunities for performers or are needing performers the need is there